hello guys welcome back to my channel today i decided to do a video about the reasons or some of the reasons why you could still be single right now most of the things that i'm going to say i derived from logan yuri's book called how to not die alone it depends with how you evaluate yourself especially if you're single right now but it's a better test if you ask your friends or those around you why they think you are still single because some of the times we lie to ourselves or we have this blind spots that we can't see and other people can so it will provide a valuable insight if you ask your friends or your family why they think you are still single the reason why i want to talk about this topic is because guys relationships are important they are more important than you think actually i knew that my channel was important but i didn't know that it was that important because guess what guys an average married person lives 12 years longer than a single person so in other words relationships they increase your life expectancy isn't that amazing yes guys there is a study that was done it is more than 80 years old now and in that study they found out that relationships are more important than physical exercise or even money now people think that money will make them happy yes of course if you're broke money is going to make you happy but the impact of relationships is even more than you going to the gym every day because according to that study um exercising eating healthy increases your life expectancy by three years but for marriage is 12 years guys think about it wow like that is so mind-blowing to me so um, yes this is why i have chosen to speak about this topic yeah the first reason that i want to point out is that you are within three categories most likely okay before i say that housekeeping rules guys please do want well to subscribe to this channel if you can't subscribe at least leave a like if you can't leave a like at least comment okay your thoughts and if you can't do that you can follow me on my instagram at melody underscore rumbi5 yeah you can support in any way possible but those can really go a long way now why are you still single well because you have unrealistic expectations of either yourself or your proposed partner or your ideal partner <laughs> now let me say there are three categories okay that you might fall into we have the hesitator the romanticizer and the maximizer if you are a hesitator like some of my friends who are still single right now it means that you don't want to get a relationship until you feel like you are now perfect enough for a relationship or you feel that there's something that you're still working on that you don't deserve to be with a partner right now it's either your body you're working on your weight or you think that after you have um landed your job or when you're done with your career that's when you will be in a relationship there's a station criteria that you have in your head like unless i meet that then i don't get to get in a relationship do you see so it might be because you're a hesitator and another common trait amongst hesitators is that they think that love is a lot of work so they're like ish i'm not ready to be so vulnerable i'm not ready to put in the work i'm not ready to take care of someone like they have a lot that is going on in their minds because they feel like it's too much for them so they like the word says they hesitate so they don't want to do it they're like hey after i lose maybe five kgs yeah yeah then i can go ahead so that is probably why you are still single you might be a hesitator another reason why you're single that i would like to add is because you are fearful either fearful of being vulnerable 
or of love you just fear whatever that comes with love and i have heard so many people saying uh, saying that okay i'm going to therapy i'm on my healing journey and yes it's okay to go to therapy and you have to work through your fears you have to work through your traumas but i think that sometimes it requires you to be to put yourself out there to actually uh, overcome such things you know because honestly you can read all you can about an experiment like i can tell you this firsthand you can read everything you know about an experiment you can do a research literature review you can i don't know like finish all the papers read them but if you don't actually do the experiment you're not going to have the first hand information or the evidence of if that of testing if that um hypothesis is true or not do you get what i'm saying so sometimes you can get the rules you can learn all you can about relationships you can do whatever you can to prepare for a relationship yes but then you just have to put yourself out there you've had that common saying like you need to face your fears yes and not run away from them because you just have to like be there and make yourself like scared to the last core in order for you to know if this is your thing or not you know so yeah uh, that fear can hinder a lot of people you know it boils down to loss of esteem it boils down to like those traumas that i was talking about that might be affecting you subconsciously so without you even knowing it you're just thinking ah it's some issues or oh, ah, i don't want to do this but i mean like who doesn't want to be loved guys like who tell me who yeah so yeah we need to like uncover all of those things and see where the root problem lies and then the second one is the romanticizer now the romanticizer expects that their their partner is going to show up in their, in their life in a way that they never imagined like oh my god i just got off the bus and then when i was about to cross the road i bumped into the sky and then oh my god my books fell to the ground and then we looked at each other and this there was this chemistry with between us and it was like who oh, a dream come true you know exactly what we have seen in romantic movies and you know all those um romantic books you know like the things that are like out of this world like you just don't meet your life partner online and then you just start talking and then now you are dating nah you have to like it has to be miraculous you know what i'm saying and most remind romanticizers they also believe that love has to be easy so if they feel like ah things are not really flowing as they should they think like ah it's not meant to be yeah those are the people that will say uh let's see like if it's meant to be it will be you know but you have to realize that love takes work sometimes you you don't have to like just see how it goes because if you don't communicate or if you don't make an intention to make your partner happy things are just going to die away like that it's like fire fire can be burning it can burn a whole city but then if you don't feign it if you don't um uh, fan the flame of fire it will die out so the same is true for relationships which means that you need to put in some kind of work of course there is like a level to which you can work in it where you are actually not getting getting along with your partner but that will be for another video but romanticizers like they have this ideal person in their head like my guy should be you know <clears throat> this height tall they are supposed to be this thin they're supposed to be this dark you know like they have uh, little bits and pieces of details that if they see somebody who falls short of that they're like no 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 go area because they have like unrealistic expectations in a, in their head of their partner and how they're going to meet you know so i mean with that level of perfectionism they are still single 
Yeah, so you might be in one of those categories, uh, a hesitator or a romanticizer. Now, there is the third category, which is the maximizer. The maximizers are the kinds of people that would say, okay, there is definitely more than this out there, which means that let's say they, may, they, they were to meet a great person, they would say, oh my God, this person is great. But if the person could be like at least 10% more beautiful or at least 20% um, richer, if the person was going to be like a little bit taller, like ah, that was going to work. But now they're like, I don't want to settle here. Let me go and find that person. And so because people are not perfect, they're always going to move from one person to another, one date to another, several dates. They don't meet the person that is so perfect. Why? Because they think that if I just look a little further, then I'm going to be that person. They are thinking that, okay, I need to like find the person. So I'll give you a real life example of um, shopping online. I know that many people can relate to this one. You know, let's say you want to buy something very big or you want to move houses like what I was doing. Yeah, for example, me, when I wanted to move apartments, I was like looking uh, at the reviews, like trying different places, the agents and all of that. And I, whenever I saw a house, I'm like, ah, there's definitely a better house than this. Like, I mean, of course, there's a certain point again where you don't have to settle, like just because somebody has entered your life, you just have to settle with them because just because they are not perfect no but then it is that thing of like for example even when we finally moved into a new apartment if i was a maximizer i was going to say this is probably a nicer apartment than this let me keep looking and you realize that when you keep doing that you can never settle down because you think that there's a next best best thing out there and i realized that this is exactly what i was doing in in my relationships earlier on you know i would be saying okay i think that this person is great but there's probably like someone who is a little bit better you know and sometimes i would meet somebody who i think is better and then i realized like okay they might be better in the other person's weakness but they also have their weaknesses and now it was going to be a spiraling effect in such a way that you meet somebody whom you think is better but then they also have their weak areas to get it so you're never going to get to a point where you're like okay this person is perfect okay it's done research has shown that you know it is not about the decision that you make it is how you feel about your decision which means that if you decided to like find someone and then start a life with them how you feel about the decision is going to make a great impact compared to who you choose okay so yeah that is those three categories and if you find that you're in one of those categories or any of the reasons that i have mentioned you need to realize that a relationship is built so you just have to find a great person and build a relationship with them in your dating you want to look at the things that matter more than the things that matter less because at the end of the day you want to be in a relationship that lasts longer or a marriage that will go a lifetime so guys i just hope that you find a great person and that you build a relationship with them uh, i hope this video was helpful and yeah i'll see you in the next one peace